Pisces, welcome to your reading and this is your July the 11th and July the 12th of 2020. This is for Pisces Ascendant, Moon Rising and Venus Placement on their chart. Jupiter may also resonate with the reading. Cross Watchers are always welcome. So Cross Watchers, if I described someone here and you know that it is not you, please it's not you. Okay, just because you are connecting with Pisces, you're going to assume that whom I am describing here is you. Please don't. This is not a personal reading. Okay. So Pisces, this goes to Pisces and cross watchers alike. If the situation here is far from what's happening in your life, then this is not you. If the character that I am describing is a total opposite of you, then this is not you. Don't put yourself into someone else's shoe. For those of you who is new to the channel, you might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing an interactive reading wherein you can also ask me questions. All right. If in case that you didn't catch me doing live streaming, don't be sad. You can still ask me question. There is a link in my description box. Click that link. You will be routed to my page. Type in your question. But please, guys, click submit. Okay? Because I am receiving emails, probably because of too much excitement, or probably it's Mercury retrograde, right? Um, things are fluctuating. You're emailing me asking for an answer. How can I answer if there is no question? So please make sure you click submit. If you also want to know your lucky number and lucky color, follow me in Instagram. It's also in the description box. So Pisces, if you resonate with the reading, congratulations. If you do not resonate with the reading, then come back to the reading after a week or two. Time is fluid. If you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading, then still congratulations for I am doing a collective reading. So Pisces, let's begin with the reading. <clears throat> the ego and five of wands okay here's the thing you felt like there is a competition you felt like you are being talked about you felt like there are rumors spreading about you um it's and you felt like you cannot get out of that that's an illusion. It's a trap. Okay? Your ego, the demon inside of you, is playing tricks with you. Okay? And Pisces, probably you are also spending too much money as of the moment because of the retrograde. It affects the way how you perceive things, you do things, you say things, and even you deliver things. Okay? Just be a little um, cautious about how you spend your money. Um, and there are also things that you're worrying about, that you are, that you're so fearful, okay? That's all the demon in your head, okay? Do not just my two cents on this if you know that you didn't do anything or um, if you know that you are on the right track because you were born that way by Lady Gaga just kidding um, because you know that you are in the right track you don't have to fear any all right as long as you know that you have the universe at your back do not Ego is a material, let's say, 
it based on the experience of the humanity all right what i'm trying to say is we're, we're going deeper and i know that you can understand me because i am a pisces too and we are living in a deep blue sea so what i'm trying to say here is whatever you are scared of um you know that you can surpass that don't let the demon in your head win all right so four of wands is here what you want is stability so probably you are in a situation that you're scared that people will leave you that's one of the problem of this uh, of the pisces right especially when a pisces get all <clears throat> already um built a connection you know the red string between you both it's kind of scary because when pisces love they give their 1000 percent if the if the ratio is one to 100 pisces will give 1000 percent i can be, I, I can understand that so you don't want to fail yourself and you don't want to ask this question type into the comment uh, comment section let me know if this is true not again this word oh not again right because it felt like because you know what um pisces are attracting energy vampires because you are very compassionate you're very um i i have the word for that it's empathic right so that's also not just pisces for those empath people but most of the empath people are pisces just so you know that they are attracting energy vampires who will suck all your negative i mean who suck all your positive energy for their own goods so seven of swords is here competition 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 you felt like there is a competition someone also is a little sneaky with you i told you i just mentioned it someone is a thief in the night someone probably took something from you took your innocence took your love took your attention took your peace of mind and the star here because you put this person in a pedestal pisces are gonna get real to you i'm a pisces too let's have a conversation all right when we love we would we put the person in a pedestal that's that's a pisces nature correct it doesn't matter if let's say our last bite if that person that we love needed it even we're still hungry we're gonna give it to that person correct correct let me know all right let's have a talk king of swords is here you're not you're not going to stop this is you pisces you are the oldest the eldest of the major uh, uh, of the zodiac you are very intuitive as well right here's the thing when it comes to biases you know that this person might probably take advantage of you but you still give them the benefit of the doubt empaths two of ones in reverse Ooh, there is something changed in here probably you are in this situation that you already told yourself enough because you're not already in the um what do you call that you are not in the verge of seven of ones of competing i'm done with the competing i'm done with the competing part <laughs> i'm gonna focus on myself and myself alone so if you don't want to be in my universe that's okay you know what it's very rare when a Pisces says no but if they do 
it's a no. It's a no, no, no across the board. So Cinco de Bastos or Five of Wands, you felt like there is a competition. You're missing someone that's that's a Pisces, very Pisces. And this is also very Pisces, Five of Cups. In the situation wherein you are blaming yourself, eh? Nah, I wasted my time. Again. Again. Because this person caught this connection. So, someone is waiting here. It could be you or the other person. Cross watchers, if you feel like you are the focal point in this reading, so be it. Pisces, if you feel like you are on the cross water side, that's okay. I'm not reading which side you at anyway. I'm reading the energy. So, Pisces, you're gonna let this connection die. Mm. What a plot twist, right? What a plot twist. That's a very, I think, ego is. I think ego is dominant in you and I don't know if I'll approve it but it's about time after all that you've been through it's time to love yourself sometimes it's okay to have a fair amount of ego the hangman you might be connecting with a Scorpio or has a Scorpio placement on their chart or you have a Scorpio placement on your chart you will put this person into their proper place that's true Pisces you're very intuitive that's very rare that Pisces will do that but surprise surprise Pisces did that if you think Pisces is not that mm, big big Pisces is that big it's here so Pisces this is your reading if you resonate with this and you want to go in depth you can book a personal reading with me. You can contact me. It's in the description box. Click the subscribe button. Smash that notification bell. And comment down below. I'm very interactive. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you in the next reading. Goodbye. You want the best of my heart. You just